Throw my targ. <laughs> it sounded like that. Sorry, this sort of left off where we left off. There we are. Train station. Go to the father's funeral. Okay. I think I must be lost. Fuck you, lost, whoever. Maybe we have to set up here. Right Everyone's lost, I guess. Hey, everyone. How y'all doing? Don't mind me. We're just collecting everything around here. I like how he actually, like, he like reaches down and snaps his finger. Ah, ooh, ah, hey, 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 hey. <sighs> I got into it a little too much. <laughs> Can't find a decent sidewalk. Ain't no decent sidewalks around. Here. We're just collecting everything, bro. Everything. Everything, bro. Collected everything, bruh. I got the menu. In case I get hungry. Alright, we out. Act one the city that does not forget. This is the funeral? Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. Oh, circus. <clears throat> okay. These are troubled times. Brothers turned against brothers. Oh. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. Amen. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald. This demands my decisive How come every dude on this game has a killer mustache? Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General a of fucking Warsaw. Killer. Georgi and Look at all these dudes, bro. They got killer mustaches. And there's me, man. I just got the generic. <laughs> uh, keep listening. Warsaw! The time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, all forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None? Whether None. Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocateurs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out now. The show knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me. Are you Polish? Polish? How do you know? I was born in Warsaw when I'm lapsed. My name's Victor. Vanda. There you go, play it smooth. This is Russia here. Like it or not, Warsaw. Premia terora. Sakoisos. Iti nasoi! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Oh. Aristovat. Hey, what? What's going on? 
great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Well, some more blood Check. on you, Buryaki. We want that rebel. The Loudmouth. Damn. She dropped some. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. She dropped some. I suggested myself. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. No, she keeps dropping them. Is the military Gucci is yourself? just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd. Every time she spreads her legs, one falls. Thrashing a Russian gendarme. <laughs> Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Oh. Can you get us out of here? What's she dressed in? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Oh, really? Or I take on that self-appointed <coughs> leader of the proletariat. I mean, I probably could strategy. convince somebody. Uh, who is she? Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those down usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Oh, in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? I could have handed you in. For instance, I could disclose to a soldier that you came here with ammunition under your skirt. Maybe we should see who they believe. A respected lady of Warsaw, or a common magician who just a hundred years ago would have been burned at the stake. Damn, chill out. Well, since you asked so nicely. I'm going to take a look around. All right, let's see what we got. So I pick up pistol bullets here. He's this guy. Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? I guess. Offer your help in the fight. Here we go. I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. Oh, they won't shit. expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves. Here we go. The soft whistle, yeah. I love Marco Polo out here. Oh shit! I can level up my guy. Action, reaction. I like that. I like that. And we got this guy. Looks like. Do a little mind game out here. All right, ding, ding, ding! Come on. Selecting yourself a senator. <coughs> Someone or a different one. Okay. This one, old one. Got that old room going. He feels it. And then we just do a little quick attack. Boom, boom. Ah. Oh, sh shit. You good, bro? Yeah, you got on that one, that's for sure. Uh, hit him with that. Uh, hit him with this. Boom. Let's see if this one takes it down. Boom. Nice. Alright, so this guy, he already got an old wound gone, so we'll do a little plant attack. And it was something big here. Boom! Yep. Hey, 
good hit. He's about dead. Boom. There it is. Knock him out. Oh shit. Bro, you got a gun? I'm sure that makes them immune to your attacks. Traits are related to different dimensions and they can be disabled. It's the same dimension as the trait. Oh, really? How do I know? Damn, look at this guy. This is the new one I got. The skill is able to an enemy trait. So we probably want this guy. And then we we'll do action reaction. And boom! So I'm hit him with the quick attack. Here we go. Ah. Trade disabled. Boom! You wanna play with guns? We can play with guns, bro. We play with guns. Boom! Hit. Oh. Wait, what? I didn't lose. You've lost the Gamora and the revolver. Damn, I shouldn't have. Shulski, Victor. Son of a bitch. One of those Shulskis. That's gonna change the story, yes. huh? My Yo, condolences. Dude, now, Joey. profile. Thank you. I'm doing all right, man. We just got arrested, it looks like. I guess I'm not doing too good. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? <laughs> He's got to pee, bro. Where else am I supposed to? For real. Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. Oh. On the wall. You better remember that too. Probably smells that like that bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Probably smells so bad in there. Can I use the phone? Probably smells so bad in there. Hey. Now that's the woman's side and the man's side. Wise guy. What's wise guy gotta what say? Are you staring at Ganeth. I don't know what that means. Oh. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know what you're running your mouth at. Oh. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. I'm innocent. For being innocent. Same as all of us. Well, are you from somebody? Um. Let's just introduce ourselves fully, huh? My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. Respect. First of all, I am a thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla. Who's a wizard too? Oh shit! How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Foreskin? Is Whoa. my foreskin any of your fucking business? Oh. Well, no. I, I was Why just. What the fuck was that? Schmuck. Why did he just randomly? Well, you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. <laughs> you should not judge a book by its cover. A tough guy, like a real Warsaw lad. I was born here. Now I've come home. Welcome to Warsaw. All right, hold on. Let me clip some of my own, you know. All right, let's just sit down, take a seat. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? Uh, nah.
to tell me if you managed to get rid of your ammunition. If I hadn't, I'd already be locked up at the Citadel. I admit your behavior did successfully distract the Ruskies. There we go. You're welcome. All right, then. What's such a gorgeous, hairy mug doing in a crummy place like this? Oh, she's trying to get it on. She's trying to get it on. We've got a little time to kill. Maybe now you can tell me more about yourself. How come I don't answer her questions? <laughs> you seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Um. Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. All right. Dealers in stolen duck pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rockblitz's cafe. Burke Rockblitz's cafe. You spend time there? I don't there? want to jinx it, but do you spend time there too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. Oof. And don't worry. I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Shulsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Oh, shit. Spelling of bullets was mean. Wanda, the woman of Madurin Catalinians were smoking up bullets in the nooks and crannies of her undergarments. <laughs> Alright, we're out. Shulsky, this yours. Yep, that's my book. That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Uh, we don't need to know. It is what it is. Wanda's file. Got it. My file. Let's see what else we got cooking in here. Can I release them? Okay. What's this? We're just collecting everything. That's what we do. Wanted. Oh. They wanted. I'm gonna miss my fucking my father's funeral if I don't hurry up here. How do I get out of this joint? Up here. I'm out. Guessing this way. Um, do we go to this thing? Catch a tram. There we go. We got out and we just, we let the girl rot. <laughs> Alright. Fuck her. We don't need her. Am I right? Alright, we got uh, another skill point, which is good. That's always good. How y'all doing? Taking these. Oh, here it is. Funeral. Oh, shit. Anowski. Dear friend. Okay. But those aren't my father's. It's so weird. It's up here. Can I have a quick word. Yeah. I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat. Mordechai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? I don't know. I won't say that. I don't know. 
I'm curious myself. I haven't had a chance to find out. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll Excuse leave me. you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. Yeah. I think I ought to arrest you. Really? Down my dirt. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hold your hands down. Someone might see. You still haven't figured out who I am? No. Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Veroni? Oh. I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there. Among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Sister? Victor. It's us. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but... For now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? You know, I'm good. Just sound like... Have you written to mother? Yes, but... What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. I, I don't. It so. was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's not a family it's event. Late. It's a fucking funeral. We've still funeral. got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Fine. Let's get this over with. There he is. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. Oh, we're going to... After brief suffering, fell asleep <coughs> with the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better. Definitely closer to the truth. I don't know why I would mention all this stuff. Today you died. He Sounds like this. My dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. Shit. You were wrong. I've come back with two saliters. I'm sorry, there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself, in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> Farewell, father. There it is. Am I intruding? Who the fuck is this guy? Nah. Have you been eavesdropping like that for long? <laughs> All my life. So he heard I everything I said. To pay my respects to the dead. Stanislav and I were acquainted. 
You might say, I knew everything about your father. Mr. Victor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. Nope. I don't have to say long. So. I intend to leave as soon as I wrap up my family obligations. I doubt we'll have time to meet again. <laughs> Who knows? I guess. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name is Kanyechkin. Ivan Kanyechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you've had. Oh. I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Tired. Great grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturge. Grandpa Nikodem, a thaumaturge. Hey, everyone, a thaumaturge, huh? Runs in the fam. Go to family home in northern Skundogomovdake. We can oh. go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Is this? Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Oh, it's Constantia Shavorska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Thank you. And you, sir? <laughs> what does that mean? I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You'd permit that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? Someday the press will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm there sure my Ketya is already waiting for us at home. <coughs> I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Alright. Let's hop on in. Hurry up, we'll get soaked. Boy, a little drizzle like this? I don't want this motherfucking porn, man. This shit porn. Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grajana, dear. Tea. Let the guests wait. Kind of tea First, did I want to take up? care of the will. I just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. What is whistle? Make sure fuck? Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Master Victor, Sober. good God, half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You looked just like your father in his youth, completely his spitting image. Should I uh, make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. There you oh, go. I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. 
But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the Coco, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. Alrighty. Whipping up some food. Make sure I ain't nothing. Wow, this portrait. He's just gay. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Oh. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Oh, cousin. Hitya, forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. Yeah. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Adios. Quick chat. So this little quick chat. That's a basement. I don't know if we want to go in the basement right now. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. Ah, I got you, dog. So Let's many pound them down. Out for the guests. Let's pound them down. Have you trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? Oh, you want me to find the bottle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> what the fuck? Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. Yeah. You're lucky. You're lucky you got me. Right, track down the bottle in a basement. Maybe I will try later. Not at the bottle. Oh, mother's portrait. Okay. Did I get it? Oh, I just got it. Okay. How did it go? Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished? Yep, there you go. White. How do I check, like, my shit? She said not to get him drunk, so maybe the white. I Wine. found this one. That's not ours. He got it from some woman. Not enough to do. So, to we don't want to get him destroyed, so we gave him the white wine. Used to say, hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? No. I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? There it is. I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Pistachio? To Pistachio. an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Pistachio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. It's all right, dog. I'm here for you. Taking shots of white wine. <laughs> Obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Let's do it. Yeah, so let's find out what my father hasn't left me. Well, what are, let's uh, begin let's if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? 
Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of his imperial majesty, the emperor of all Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shursky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord, 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Amen. The Therefore, my saving. first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schutzka. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let uh -huh. the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. <sighs> I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. Damn. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. The joke has a very end. <laughs> To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Hello. Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire. Oh. In the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly. So I got the book. Though you may have found it. I waited backwards. around and got his book. However, Instead this last bequest poses a certain problem. Oh. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Uh oh. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Damn. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps. In all that confusion. Uh oh. But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the tomato just happen to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Where did it happen? Where was this building? <coughs> the southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Okay. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. Yes. I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. Here we go.
Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. Uh. How typical of the sort of person to keep a portrait in his study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Nijitsis, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abauritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. Yes. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the Grimoire. What do you intend to do? Um, it depends again. I leap. think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your side, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or Uncle, or Detective could. Amen. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Nope. And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. <laughs> Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. Yeah. And Mordechai Hayat. Could that be the I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Oh, yeah. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? I know everything. Well, at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Maybe. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Uh. Adios. Goodbye, Uncle. And uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The Mommy. most important thing is you're here now. Uh. Ernie. The fuck this guy want? Everything. That's what we do. I'm talking this guy. How do you find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check. 
you didn't say a fucking word. You just fucking stood there. Groaned and moaned every once in a while, but... Let's check this in here. Serious photo. Oh, nice. So we can... Change our clothes, which is cool. I like it. Hi, answer. What's going on? Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Victor? Victor, are you there? Spoon? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the mm. telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, what if it was Rasputin that stole the book? Has something happened? To me? No. I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Yes, yes. Seven Povaskoska Street. Uh, number seven by cemetery. Povaskoska. Okay. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. Uh, I want to end now. Uh, what do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. Remarkable. Hello? Oh, and now? Never seen a phone before, huh? Wait, hold on, I still gotta do this. Oh, there's upstairs and shit. Hold on. We're already doing this. Now we got what else is there? Is that everything? Might just be everything. No cap ski. One says go this way. The one says go that way. I'm missing something, are we? Oh, no, we're good. Might be something down here. Three places, okay. Have you found anything yet about the grimoire? Is there any way I can help? I don't think I found it. anything, baby. It's got the woman's trace you found, okay. It's asking. In Father's study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Oh. Probably Svetlana Rumiantseva. Who the fuck is that? Who is she? And what does father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanov's court. I can only tell you she was a customer of father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. 
Not Maybe. so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Oh, really? Svetlana is famous for her soirees where she hosts the creme de la creme of Warsaw. Uh, uh, speak. We could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never give me a chance. Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzna Street that's fairly decent and quick. Oh, yeah. We also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Gotcha. Okay. Give me XP, uh, that's all I need. Here we go. I'm ready to look good. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Uh oh. Sorry, what? Supposed you to be closed. me. What is it? Oh. I need some evening wear. Quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations <laughs> won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulsky, 9 Green Square. No, I'll send a messenger square. when I'm done. And Mr. Shulsky, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Povonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Damn. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. I won't say I look bad, mate. Eh? Do I really look that bad? Oh, I just solved the case. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I it's couldn't like help noticing you're <laughs> struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier. I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pad lags and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. Okay. I won't bother you. All right. Seems like we're missing an option for him still. I don't think he'll be here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta visit the barber now. Hey, Barbski! Cemetery, then. So the barber at? Hop, they got hopscotch. Come in. 
Howdy, partner. Please set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. This one, huh? Maybe this one. There you go, this one. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Like yes, it. you're talented. <laughs> Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. So I like to hear. Look like a whole new guy. It's the train. Is this my new outfit? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Yeah. Recently I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go, or have you changed your plans? Get dressed, so yes, here we go. Let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Oh. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. You say you look better than she does. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. Is All right, chill out. would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Huh. Victor. He could have kept from losing the black grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. I'm ready. I think we want to stop it here. The next next one we pick up. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Pick up where we yes, get into Ulska. the hotel here. Here on the Invitation of Svetlana Romyantseva. Yes, this. we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Alrighty. Uh oh, the fuck? Who are you, my golden 
Victor? 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Of, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Viper's Den, brother. Literally. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. You gotta see what that snake was. Let's see, maybe upstairs. What did we come to these here for? Here. These soirees are for old people. Uh -oh. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. Uh oh. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Scawan is out of your league, my friend. I am. To say nothing of her father. Old Scowan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxine? Huh. Mm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. Damn. <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. Damn. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scowan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? Uh, My name there. is Viktor Shulsky. Well, there we have it. Damn. Leave Forgive me, on. gentlemen. <laughs> Please give our greetings to your sister. Oh, they were talking about my sister. Is that what they're doing? Alright, we're actually gonna save it here, yep. Alright. It's been an honor, boys. And like always.